Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Mike Spiller. Hope you guys are having a great day. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and you know, smash that like button. Today we're going to talk about Mixcraft. Now I'm going to teach you, you know, a bit about the the effects. And um, before I jump into the video, I need you to understand that everybody has their own style of music. So there's a bunch of people that probably made a video like this. So this is going to be my style, you know, my way of getting my, my um, recordings to the best quality that, that I can possibly get them. So yeah, let me just go into one of my projects real quick. Um, so yeah, new music on the way for those who want to know. Um, this is going to be an Afrikaans song called Hall Awesome that I'm working on. Yes, sir. My mix craft is just slow as hell. Come on. Sorry, you guys can skip ahead a bit if you want to. Ah, fifty percent, fifty percent. Here we go. Okay. Now, as you can see, here is my mix craft. There's my beat, and usually my main vocals are right here, and then I got the back of vocals right there. So, if you if you go to this little FX button, I don't know if you can see the mouse. The this FX button that's green in Audio Track Channel Two. When you click on it, these are the effects that I would highly recommend anybody if they, um, you know, want to get that nice sound, that, that nice professional bright audio uh, in their music. So we're going to start off with a multi-band compressor. What this does is, is um, okay, actually, I don't want to go in too much in detail about all the effects. That's, that's, that's a topic for another video. But yeah. You can play around with these effects or you can um, use the ones that you like. So it's going to be a multi-band compressor. Pultonic tube equalizer. you got to set it on the clean HF boost. Okay. That stands for high frequencies. It gives it that, that sharp, clean and bright sound that you want. And then obviously some reverb. This one is optional. You don't have to use reverb if you do not want to. But I highly recommend it. Um... Guys, the next video I'll, I'll explain to you how to use each single effect. Comment below which effect you guys would actually wanna want me to make a video on. Otherwise, I'll just tackle them all at the same time. All right, then you have your G snap pitch correction. This is kind of like Auto Tune, but it's more, you know, it's it, it's Mixcraft's own version of it, and um, it's very complex. It's it's very simple at the same time also, but. You have to play around with it to understand it. Like, like I said, again, everybody has their own sound and needs to find what works for you. All right, then I use my Pro Mix Equalizer. Um, what this does is it just balances out all that background noise and that, that you don't want in your mix overall. And then some delay, some echo, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, guys, these are the effects that I use to, um, to get my sounds better. Now, to give you an example, let me play you the verse. But let me put it in a without effects. This is what it sounds like. So as you can tell, it is very dull. It is very like, it sounds like it's behind the mix overall and you can barely hear some of the words and syllables and it, it just, it, it's just missing. It, there's no character. So add my effects on it and this is what it sounds. Okay, I'm going to mute the backup. It has some backup on it. All right, so this is the difference, guys. Alright, after that, oh, there's so much you guys still need to do. Then you have to uh, go to your mixer to play around with your sounds. But anyway, that's again the topic for another video. So yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Alright, man, I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace!